Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away. But I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Fulham have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. Well, we're on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? David De Gea. He's one of the all-time great shot stoppers, Peter. His positioning is superb, and he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line. What I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make life as difficult as possible for strikers, and the manager will be hoping for a few more clean sheets now that he's in the team. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Sure. Up towards the front line. Well positioned to make that interception. Kuzawa. Diop. Hoists it high. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Fred. Fred drives it forward. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Out of play for a throw. You can get that clear. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Lindelof. A move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And he's there to cut it out. Rashford did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Now it's Mitrovic. Bruno Fernandes, Juan Bissaka. Oh, sweet feet. Bruno Fernandes, McTominay. Lovely bit of skill. So, who can spark this game into life? Leno deals with it effortlessly. Chip through. 
And that has been cleared. Fred. One Bissaka. Rashford desperately wants to get on the end of this. And we've reached half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Fulham head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. And we're already back on the way here. Those massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Fulham can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Diop. Keeps everyone guessing. Kuzawa. Balls out on the left now. One Bissaka is charging up on the overlap. And it's been taken short. A really good feat. Out to the right. Bruno Fernand meets it first time. Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Ericsson coming on. Can he continue his terrific scoring impact on the competition? And it's played forward. And it's Mitrovic. Mitrovic not easily shrugged off the ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And here's Mitrovic. Mitrovic gets a shoot. That's a cracking strike and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. It's a loose ball. And here's Mitrovic. Rafael Varane. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Has a hit! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Sancho looked very impressive there. Well, at least until he got into a shooting position, something... I'm sure he'll want to have a go at again. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. 
Chalaba. Forward it goes. He's found his man. Full of merit, full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. But there's going to be another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. So not long left in this now. Manchester United have scored in each of their last five games, but it doesn't look now as though they'll make it to six. One good cross, maybe the last chance. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Now it's Ericsson. Manchester United to make one last surge forward. Going for goal! Tremendous from Martial! Finally, finally, finally! That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Manchester United take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. There's still a bit left in it. And that is that. And you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, look, it was certainly a lot closer than I expected it to be. It was anything but a foregone conclusion. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.